क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स इफ द एवरेज मार्क्स इन द क्लास आर सिक्सटी देन वॉट इज द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास सो वॉट यू मीन बाई एवरेज एवरेज इज नथिंग बट द सम ऑफ द मार्क्स ऑफ ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स डिवाइड बाई द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एंड द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एन सो दिस इज अ वैल्यू बेस्ड क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू फाइंड अ यूनिक वैल्यू फॉर द आंसर नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद स्टेटमेंट वन स्टेटमेंट वन लेट्स एनालाइज स्टेटमेंट वन हियर द हाइएस्ट मार्क्स इन द क्लास इज सेवेंटी द हाइएस्ट इज सेवेंटी and the lowest marks are 50 the lowest is 50 so do you think using the statement alone is it sufficient to answer or is it sufficient to find how many people or how many students are there in the class i know that this is the highest and this is the lowest okay i don't know how many of them are there in between we don't know i'm give you a simple example okay let's say there is no people in between them okay there are only two people one is 50 and 60 this is also possible average is going to be 60 right average is going to be 60 because 70 plus 50 is 120 divided by 2 is 60 correct or let's say there is a possibility sir possibility that there will be one person in between them this is 60 this also will give you average 60 see add them up 70 plus 50 is 120 Plus sixty is a one eighty divided by three is a sixty. So idea is let's say see idea is some of them will be less than sixty, some of them is more than sixty. So they balance each other and the level they maintain is sixty. See here ten more you provide the ten here here so that on an average is sixty. That's what it means. Also it's possible that okay the highest is sixty. There are two people in between them with the same. A sixty and the lowest one is this also possible, and there are infinite possibilities. As long as in the middle you can have infinite numbers possible, right? The balance should be like average should be maintained as sixty. That's also possible. So that means from statement one alone, it is not possible to find a definite answer for the number of students. There are multiple possibilities or multiple answers possible. So here in this case, there are two people in this class. Here in this case, there are three students. Multiple answers. Here it's four, right? So that's the reason statement one alone is not sufficient to answer. Okay. So option B is eliminated at this stage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use statement two alone. Statement two alone. So statement two is saying that. exclusion of the highest and lowest marks from the students does not change the average see you are not getting enough information it's given that if you remove the highest and the lowest marks the average is not going to change that's it okay but still that is not sufficient to find out how many people are there in the class you can take this example if you want see this one If you take the highest and lowest, the average is going to be the same. Here also it's the same. If you remove seventy and fifty, the average is going to be the same. I'm just giving a simple example. So you don't need to like use the information from statement one. What you need to do is just need to think about it. Okay, are you getting enough data from statement two to answer the question? No, we don't have any other information, right? So that's the reason statement two alone is not sufficient. Okay, so statement option A is also will not be your answer. So now what you can do is you can combine both statements. Even if you combine it, okay, even if you combine it, it's not gonna give you a definite answer. So I'm going to give you a simple example here. Okay, even if you combine it, let's say one scenario is highest is seventy in between there are one person sixty and the fifty. This is one possibility. See, highest is seventy, the lowest is fifty, and exclusion of highest and the lowest marks does not change the average. If you remove this, the average is going to be sixty itself. Okay. Oh, let's take another example. Let's say six seventy, and there are two people in between them. See, again, it's satisfying the condition, right? If you remove the highest and lowest, the average is going to be the same, sixty. 
So if you combine both the statements, you are not getting a unique answer here for number of students. In the first case, there are how many students in the class? There are three people or three students in the class. In the second example, there are four students in the class. You are not getting a single answer. For that reason, even if you combine it, you are not getting an answer. So your answer is option D is the right answer. Option D is the right answer. So you can always use an example to prove that it is not sufficient or to prove that you are getting money, you will get a multiple answers.